All right, guys, so here's our lesson for today, and it's on using compatible numbers. And remember, compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to multiply in our head. So this would not really be a compatible number. 75 times 80. Because I really can't multiply 75 and 80 in my head very well. I could if I think about it, but a compatible number might be more close to like 80 times 80. So then my basic math fact is 8 times 8. So remember what a compatible number is. Let's begin with our first problem. So in the example of the previous page, which you saw in your visual learning, suppose the average number of hits per day was 61. So remember, I believe it was 41 in the previous day, but this time we're going to say it's 61. If you estimate 24 times 61 as 25 times 6, what is the new estimate for the number of hits? So this 25, we're changing to, or 24, we're changing to 25, and this 61, we're changing to 60. So what's our new estimate? So we now have 25 times 60, which I know in my head, 25 times four is 100, and then two more is 50. So that's going to be 15, and then I add those zeros on. So 1,500 hits per day. Now let's head to our next one. Number two. Rounding would give you 20 times 60 as an estimate for 24 times 61. So instead of using compatible numbers, if I rounded, I would have 24 goes to 20 and 61 goes to 60. Why does 65 times 60 give a closer estimate than 20 times 60? Well, let's first write what 20 times 60 would be. That's going to be 12, and I add those two zeros on. Let me change pens for us. There we go. So that's going to be 1,200. And you see, there's like 300 difference. And this one's going to be closer to our actual answer. Why is that? Well, it's going to be closer because 24 is closer to 25 than to 20. So it basically just means we're changing our number a lesser amount. We're only changing it by one when we go to 25 instead of change it by four. So let's head to number three now, guys. 24 times 18. 24 is close to 25. 18 is close to 20. So now I'm going to multiply 25 times 20. Two times 25 equals what? That equals 50. And then I add that zero back on for 500. So now let's do this one. 25 times 37 is close to 40. So I'm rewriting those compatible numbers. And what does that give us? 4 times 25 is 100. And I add that 0 back on. Number 5. 52 is close to 50. Times 27 is close to 30. So now I can multiply those. I could also do 25 if I wanted to. So either one would be okay. If I did 25, then my answer is going to be 25 times 4 is 100. Plus, there's one more group of 25, which is 1,250. Could also, if I did times 30, it would be 1,500. But this one's closer, because I'm only changing it by two. So let's do that 25. Now, our next one. 25 is the same as 25. And so what would our next one be? Times 59. So that one's going to be close to 60. And six times 25, that's 150. And then I add that zero back on. So remember, 25s we're using because it's easy. We can go 25, 50, 75, 100. We're counting by quarters for those. Our next one, 18 is close to 20. 19 is close to 20. So 20 times 20 is equal to 400. Let's head on to problem number eight now. 26, that is close to what, 25? 43 is close to 40, and I know 4 times 25 is 100, and then I add this 0 back on for 1,000. 31. 31 is close to 30. 46 is close to 50, so I multiply those. 5 times 3 is 15, and I add those two zeros back on. Our next one, 21 is close to 20. 25 is going to stay 25. 2 times 25, that's 50. And then I add that 0 back on. So pretty simple as long as I know my math facts. 
56 is close to 60, 12 is close to 10. So now I multiply 6 times 1 is 6, and I add my two zeros back on for 600. 22, well that's close to 20, times 26 is close to 25. So now I can multiply 2 times 25 is 50, and I add that zero back on. Number 13, 78, well that is close to 80. 21 is close to 20. So multiply 8 times 2 is 16, and I add those zeros back on. 36, what is that close to? Well, that is close to 40. 49 is close to 50. So that's going to be 20. And then I add those two zeros back on. 66, what is that close to? That's close to 70. 31 is close to 30. So now I can multiply. 70 times 30 is 2,100. So remember, that means my answer is going to be close to this estimate. My next one, 64, that is close to 60. 25 is what 24 is close to. 6 times 25, well that's 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. Or I can also think about it with those quarters. And add that zero back on. 21 is close to 20. 19 is close to 20. So we have 20 times 20 is 400. 76 is close to 75. 39 is close to 40. So what can I do for that one? Well, I can do, ooh, 75 is not an easy number for me, is it? So I'm gonna change this to a number that is easy to multiply. Let's try 80. 80 times 40, and now I see my fact of eight times four, which is 32, and I add those two zeros back on. My next one, 32 is close to what? Is close to 30 times 25. Three times 25, that's three quarters, is 75. And I add a zero back on. 89 is close to 90. 43 is close to 40. 4 times 9 is 36. And I add those zeros. 79 is close to 80 times 79 is close to 80, which is 64. And I add those zeros back on. And our last one for this. 46, that is close to 50. 18 is close to 20. So we have 5 times 2 is 10. And I add those two zeros back on. So now, I know my actual answer when I get good at multiplying two-digit numbers, which will be one of our next lessons. I know my actual answer is going to be close to 1,000. Let's head to the back side now. Write a multiplication equation for the area model at the right. Use the distributive property to find the product. So what do we have here? Well, we have four. We have four rows. So we're going to have four times what? Well, we're multiplying it by 10 and 6. So together, that is 16. So now, we wrote our multiplication part, but it wants us to use the distributive property. So this is going to equal, since we have an equation, we need something on the other side, but we don't know what it is. So we're going to use a variable. So let's just put n. And now with that n, we're going to use our distributive property. So remember, we're going to break that 16 up into 10 plus 6. Then we distribute that 4, so that is 4 times 10 plus, we distribute that 4 to the other part, 4 times 6. So what does that give us now? Well, that gives us 40 plus 24, which gives us 64. So what does n equal? n equals 64. Question number 24. In 1858, two ships connected a telegraph cable across the Atlantic Ocean for the first time. Use the diagram below to calculate the total amount of cable. Well, we have this part over here, we have this part. So the total amount means we add them together. We're adding those two telegraph lines together. How many miles was it? So we add them up. And it's 2,026 miles. That's a very long cable they connected. Now for number 25. Explain how I'd use estimation, so that's what we've been doing, to decide which has the greater product. 39 times 21 or 32 times 32? Well, let's see. They're both going to be what? This is going to be 40 
times 20, and this would be 30 times 30, which is 900, and this one is 800. So I can see right now, this is gonna be my larger one. But I didn't explain, so I need to do that explaining part. So we just need to put this all in a sentence. 39 times 21 is about what? Is about woo, 40 times 20 equals 800. 32 times 32 is about 30 times 30 equals 900. And then we need to do our explanation. Since 900 is greater than 800, 32 times 32 is greater. Okay, we only have two more guys. How is using compatible numbers to estimate similar to using rounding? And how is it different? So, how they're similar is they both give an approximate answer. So that's how they're similar. They're different because one gives a closer answer than the other method. So we're going to write that out and then we'll say which one does. They are different. Let me slide that up. And then they are different because one may give an estimate that is closer to the actual solution. Now, this doesn't mean you should use one or the other because it's really just to check to see if your answer is correct when you do the actual math. Alright, and now for 27. A company ordered 28 cartons of tape. Each carton contained 24 rolls. Choose compatible numbers from the box to write two different estimates for the total number of rolls ordered. Use each number once. So, hmm, I need to use these to solve this equation. Well, let's see. 28, that is close to 30. That was easy. 24, well, that's close to 25. Now, what is 30 times 25? Well, that's 3 times 25, which is 75. And then I add that zero. And look, that answer's there. Then we have 28. Hmm, that's a little strange here. It's not really appearing. So, since it's not here, we can't use that 3 again. Maybe they pick 28 as being close to 25, because that is a compatible number. And now, this 24, well, we don't have a 25 to pick again, so maybe they went down to 20. Now what do we have? 25 times 20 is 500. Which one do you think is the closer answer? It's not asking us. If you said this one would be closer to our real answer, you are correct because we didn't do as many changes. We only changed this by two and this by one. Whereas here we changed it by three and four. So remember, the less amount we change it, the closer will be to our actual answer. All right, guys, good job. And I will see you guys later.